I got it. Hi, it's Deandra for IAB TV. I'm at the World Series of Bowling with Scott Norton. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for taking time out for us. I wanted to ask you a couple questions about coaching. Uh, first, um, you've been bowling your whole life. I have. I have about 20, 20 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought you were only 18. Uh, well, I I'm celebrating anniversaries now of my 29th birthday, <laughs> starting, starting now. <laughs> well, happy anniversary. Yeah, right? Um, okay, so tell us a little bit about growing up and the coaches that you had surrounding you. Yeah, so growing up, I was lucky enough to have my mother, who's a Hall of Famer, Virginia Norton, and you know, it never it never hurts to have that as a free coach when you're growing up, you know. So for for when I was about four or five, you know, she kind of taught me the right way to bowl. She wouldn't let me to bowl on bumpers. And then after that, she kind of said, do your own thing until you're ready. And then when I was ready, I came back and she kind of helped me out. And, and since then, you know, we've done Team USA and I've had a lot of other coaches since then. Yeah. Now, you bring up a good point. Your mom has been a coach for most of your life because she knows what she's talking about. Right. But... Like your mom and dad are never right, you know. Like when your when when my dad would suggest something to me, even though I knew he was right, I didn't want him to be right, and I resisted. Did you ever have that problem with her or with another coach where you you were just stubborn? It, it's so much easier with other coaches because they're not your parents. Um, I mean, even today, Abel, and it was. I mean, I I snapped for no reason at her. I mean, it's just kind of the mother son dynamic that. Yeah that it's always going to happen like that like I love her and I'll defend her to the death of anyone else but but when we're coaching when we're going back and forth it's always kind of kind of some tension there but I kind of think that's kind of the the, the mother son father daughter you know kind of relationship thing that goes yeah. on there and what kind of advice can you offer kids that have that problem where you know their parents probably do know a little bit more than they do about bullying but they're stubborn you know it, it I hate to say mom always knows best, but a lot of the time she does. I mean, there's a reason that saying's around. So, so even though you might you might resist a little, at least take something away from what they say because they always mean the best for you. They always want the best for you, and they want nothing but for you to succeed. So, yeah, so. And, that, and that's a really good point. Is there one piece of advice that your mom has given you that really sticks with you, or something that she constantly reminds you of? The thing that she constantly reminds me of, and I think this is something for all the junior bowlers out there to take with them, is that you do this because you love it. And and as much as you try and you practice, and, and even at our level, how much we practice and we compete and we have heartaches and we have success, I mean, you do this because you love it. So if, if you're a junior bowler right now, you just have to make sure that you keep having fun no matter the level that you bowl. And, and keep you know keep trying to improve, but make sure that you always have fun because. But, but when you're bowling bad, it's so hard to have fun. It is it is so hard to have fun, but you kind of have to go back to that time when when you were bowling with your friends and you were bowling with family and 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 there's always a reason that you're out there bowling. If you're not out, if you can't remember why you're out there bowling to have fun, you need to go back and remember. Yeah, and it's such a such a good point because I know that days that I've had my worst bowling. I go home and I just feel devastated, like it's the end of the world. And then you realize, wait a second, like my life is good. I have a good life. I get to do what I love for a living. And I have family that supports me and friends that I get to see everywhere. And sometimes it's hard to um, to remember that when you're in the midst of it. But afterward, when you can reflect, you really, you really, you know, sit back and you're like, all right, it's not the end of the world. And tomorrow I'm gonna bowl again. It's so, it, I, it's, I so agree, and it's so hard because you're in here in the middle of competition, and and when you're out here, it feels like nothing could ever get worse. But you know, at the end of the day, you still have family that loves you, you have friends that love you, and you're doing the thing that you love. And and really, life can't even on your worst day. I mean, it seems like it's the worst thing in the world, but life still can't get better than this. I mean, you're still doing what you love. It's just bowling. It's just, it's just bowling. bowling. I mean, you have all your hobbies and other things yeah. when you get home to come home to. Yeah. That's a really good point. Now, do you do much coaching? I, I do do a little coaching, not as much as I'd like. I mean, my law practice kind of takes away from the time I'd like to. I know, oh, I know, I know. So I, do you, I swear do you, to God, I'm not that kind of lawyer. <laughs> do you mainly coach youth? I, I that was my main focus. Yeah. I mean, when I was I was junior director at a, a house I worked at in uh, Utah when I went to Utah for mm -hmm. school, and that's my favorite. I love coaching youth because. Oh they love to learn new things and yeah. it's so fun to see people that are so happy and fun about the about the game about the sport yeah is there um, a couple things that you like to maybe instill in your students right off the bat yeah I mean practice 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 I mean that's the first thing like 
it's really hard to get good at anything unless you unless you just keep working at it. I mean, a good work ethic is the first step to, to being successful at everything. Yeah. And then other than that, it's always remember why you're here. Mm -hmm. Always remember and keep perspective that even if you're not bowling well, this is still what you love doing and you have fun doing it, especially at the youth level because that's your time to have fun. Yeah. You have your whole adult life to bowl tournaments and be competitive, but your youth is about having fun and, and making relationships that are gonna be for a lifetime. So yeah. to all the youth out there, to all the youth out there, have fun, yeah. but still work. Yeah. Have fun though. Now the real question is, what do you like better, being a bowler or being a lawyer? Oh, bowler. Don't, don't be a lawyer, people, I'm telling you, don't do it. What kind of lawyer are you? Tell yeah. us a little bit about what you do. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't really, know what that means. Really because, really because I'm out here all the time, it kind of takes away from the time I'm, I'm able to practice law. So I, I kind of do whatever I, comes my way. Yeah. What, what's more stressful? Um, law, because I haven't done it for 20 some odd, 20 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. So uh, law is a little more stressful than bullying, but I'll tell you what, being out here this week is kind of stressful too because, you know, you, you can't quite make a real good living at a job unless you're doing it nine to five every day and when you take yeah. two weeks off to bowl here and a week off to bowl there, you know, you can't make you can't make a you can't make a living doing that quite as well as some of the other lawyers that are putting in eighty hours a week. So, you know, this is kind of the source of income, so it's just as high stress for me as it is for everyone else and but but I mean Given a choice, I, I'll choose this every time. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you have any uh, advice or just maybe a nugget of information for our viewers, our IAB viewers that are watching this? Anything. It could be personal, it could be bowling, it could be a life lesson that you've learned. Life lesson I've learned, you will always have a burnout. <laughs> and you always have to remember why you are doing what you love. It doesn't matter if it's bowling, it doesn't matter if it's tiddlywinks. What is that? Tiddlywinks? Yeah. Oh, you haven't played Tiddlywinks? Oh, no. It's fun. It's, it's, Can we play later? We'll play later. Awesome. I'll, we'll play later. I'll teach her. Okay. But it doesn't matter if it's bowling or, or if it's law or whatever or it is. Tiddlywinks. Yeah, you're Tiddlywinks. But there's a reason that you started doing it and there's a reason you spent your life working towards that goal. So if you feel a burnout, just go back to why you started it in the first place and always remember that you're doing what you love. Thank you. Scott, you're great. And I thank I you. you yeah, and I, I've known Scott for many, many years too. <laughs> we were on the junior team together. Yeah, way, yeah <laughs> way back when. We're getting old, Scott. Um, hey, I turned 30 in like months. Oh, so. well, well, I've got you beat there. <laughs> uh, for IAB TV, this is Deandra with my friend Scott. Thanks for uh, spending some time with us. And thank you for loving bowling. <laughs>